For it hath pleased them of Macedonia and Achaia to make a certain contribution for the poor saints which were at Jerusalem. Just a quick review. Um, what important church is in Macedonia? The church at Macedonia. Macedonia is a region. It's not a city. Uh, what important <laughs> church? Monica. That's one of them. Yes, good. What's another one? Ephesus. No. Ephesus is in Asia. Uh, the church at Philippi. It was the first uh, church Paul started on the European continent. And um, that's just a brief uh, geography thing there. Achaia would be a, the more southern Greek area, like uh, Corinth and Athens. <laughs> Let's see. Paul is soon to be imprisoned and sent to Rome in shackles. Paul would get to go to Rome soon. Soon enough, Paul would get to go there. His prayers would be answered one way or the other, and he would get to go to Rome. The theme and purpose of the book, what is the theme of the book of Romans? Um, salvation or faith, salvation by faith. Justification by faith, salvation by faith. The just shall live by faith. The theme of the book of Romans, the just shall live by faith. Um, number two, the purpose of the book of Romans among others, is to clearly and comprehensively, go ahead and write L-Y at the end of that, comprehensive, explain the doctrine of salvation and how therefore a believer must live in light of it. What is the key verse of the book of Romans? For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God and his salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek, for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Throughout the whole book of Romans, we see faith being emphasized. In the beginning here, we see, uh, we'll see we see, as we go through the outline, man's rejection of God, man's uh, deciding to reject faith in God, and the consequences of it. We'll see... Uh, about how a person is saved through faith, not by the works of the law, which cannot justify a man, but through faith. We go on to see about in uh, sanctification. A person has to live a sanctified life through faith. A person cannot, of the works of the flesh, live a sanctified life. A, a believer trying to live in the flesh um, cannot be right with God. We'll see that in chapter 7. And all the struggles a person goes through in his life when he walks in the flesh and not in the spirit comes from not living a life of faith, but um, living a life of trusting oneself instead of God. Faith is extremely important in the life of a believer, and it's very emphasized in the book of Romans. Well, we go on to our outlines of the book of Romans, and... Um, we have here our first outline of the book of Romans is the 7S outline. This is not my outline. This is Dr. Stelzer's outline. Um, I stole it from him, but he said I could. And uh, he, had, he uh, not only said I could, but he encouraged us to take and use his work, and he told us we didn't need, even need to tell him that we'd done it, although I did anyway. Um, he told us don't reinvent the wheel, and I agree with him. Anyway, the 7S outline. Um, the first S is sin, Romans uh, chapter 1 through chapter 3, verse 20. What's the second S? Salvation, Salvation. Romans three twenty one through 5, 21. What's the next S? Sanctification. Sanctification. What's the next S? Struggle. Struggle. What, but what chapter in Romans is the chapter of struggles? Chapter 7. Chapter 7. What's the next S? Spirit. What's the next S? And what's the final S? Then we see an outline based on, uh, well, God's righteousness. We see the need for God's righteousness. You see it follows a very similar pattern to the 7S outline. The provision of God's righteousness, Romans 3, 21 through 5, 21. 
the result of God's righteousness, this is um, looking at the sanctified life a believer ought to live and uh, the walk in the spirit instead of the walk in the flesh. The defense of God's righteousness in uh, regards to his people Israel and how he will one day uh, restore them. And the application of God's righteousness. It would be very important for us as believers if in this Sunday school class to pick up, and, uh, or not to say to pick up, but to be able to grasp, to understand, to be able to articulate an outline of the book of Romans. If we were going to have a test in this class, we would have a test over an outline of the book of Romans. Probably it would be the full outline. Unfortunately, we don't get to have a test for this particular lesson. In, um, so... I encourage you this, though. Memorize one of those two outlines or both of them. Um, someone tell me why it would be helpful to you to memorize an outline of the book of Romans. Pastor Price. Well, a lot of people like to study Romans in a very narrow context. That is, they like to go to chapter 8 and chapter 9. If you know the outline of the book of Romans you can share the underlying theme of the book of Romans because when people want to talk about God and His sovereignty and God in, uh, in his, and God's foreknowledge, etc., one, they like to take the immediate context out of context, but they try to remove that from the book of Romans. And chapter 1 begins the theme of Romans, which is to the Jew and to the Greek, and help to understand salvation in this dispensation, but to help to understand who the Jew and who the Greek is. And we see in chapter 2 there's no difference between the Jew and the Greek, and that theme is all the way through. So uh, it's very important to study it, to, to understand the whole book in order to understand the context of the chapters that people like to study by themselves. That's true. What's another good reason? Uh, I, I memorized at least one uh, thing in Romans, and uh, what I like uh, when I memorize something is then to go to it and see what is the context of it. Because one of my favorite verses, I think it's 832, if God is for us, who can be against us? Uh, because I can remember years ago, the first time I read that and how hard it struck me. And then I did uh, come back and take a look to see what else was before it and after it. Uh, for me, I know that uh, it's important to see the context also. Ken. Plan of salvation. Plan of salvation. I like that. Mm -hmm. um, Chuck. It helps you to, uh, when you want to show somebody a scripture, to know where it is. That's true. That's exactly true. Um, truth is, is uh, another good reason would be, um, how, can, uh, how could I, as a believer, explain to someone about the book of Romans? How could I disciple a, a baby Christian if I don't even know what the book really says? if I don't know where the book is going. And uh, memorizing one of these outlines is really quite simple. These are very easy outlines to remember them. I actually think I did have to memorize them for the test, now that I think back on it, back in college. But uh, these are, they're a good outline. Um, so I hope that you memorize them, and I hope that they're a blessing to you. Um, an interesting thought struck me is uh, in the, Viewing it, the book of Romans is all about God's righteousness. Um, man needs God's righteousness. God doesn't need man's righteousness. By the deeds of the law, thou shall no flesh be justified in his sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. But man does need God's righteousness, as it explains in the next verse there. Um, <clears throat> but now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets, even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ, unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Man needs God's righteousness, but God doesn't need man's righteousness. Salvation is only through God's righteousness, which is imputed through the blood of Christ, not through man's good works. Well, Roman numeral three, the importance of the book of Romans. And uh, capital letter A is the plan of salvation. 
is very clearly and very comprehensively taught in the book of Romans. Someone tell me 